So hello, welcome everybody to another edition of Dax Fridays where I teach a new Dax function every Friday. In today's Dax Fridays video, I am going to show you how to calculate the remaining months of a fiscal year. So how many months you have left, not on your standard calendar, but on your fiscal calendar. And um, I'll show you also how to do it on a standard calendar because it's very, very easy and it demonstrates how everything works. But I'm going to show you how it's done and how you cannot do it and a few ways to do it. And let me know in the comment box if you have another way to do it. Hey, we're all learning. Okay. Uh, first of all, how to calculate how many months we have left on the standard calendar. It's actually very, very easy. You go to new measure and then you say current month and then you put month and then you put today. So if your calendar starts ends on today's date, it will, this formula will give you the current month. Let's check it out. Oh, let me show you here first. Um, it starts, this calendar starts on July 2016 and ends up on 11th of January. It's today and I'm publishing this video today, so I have to rush. Um, so yeah, today's date. So today is going to give us the current month. And as you can see here, month one today is 11th of january so yes the current month is one if you want to know how many months you have left 12 minus boom 11. easy okay great now let me remove this so it doesn't give me trouble later because we're going to reuse that okay um now how do we do it for the financial calendar or the fiscal calendar this calendar the year starts on july Okay, so we're in January now. It's already past seven months. So we need to get, instead of one, a seven. Um, if we try to do it the same way that we did, let's go for it. So current fiscal month. Oh, yeah. And uh, we go month. And then we want to put our fiscal month um, column. So we... Nothing shows up. If we put calendar, nothing shows up. And when DAX does this, it means that what you are trying to do is not allowed. It's as easy as that. So let's go and check why in the documentation. Here is the documentation for month. And it says you have to have a date time column, which I don't have. So we're out of luck. We cannot use that function. There is a function you might say like, hey, how about end of month? And it says there that it requires a date. We do not have a date for the fiscal calendar. So if we put here calendar date, sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, check it out. Obviously, for the, for the first one to give us a date, for the second one is going to give us the date of a standard calendar. So this is completely useless to us. It doesn't work at all. So how do we do it? There are two ways, what well, there are thousands of ways, but I'm going to show you two ways you can do this. Way number one. Oh my God, my nose. Uh, to create the standard calendar, if we go back to edit queries and Power Query, I created this calendar in Power Query. I recommend you to create your calendars in Power Query. I've seen it in DAX, it drives me nuts. So here is the step where I created the uh, standard, the fiscal month, and the Formula is actually very simple. If the month number is bigger than the end of the f month of the fiscal year, the end of fiscal year for our calendar is July, no, June, which is a six. So if the month number is bigger than six, then subtract six, otherwise add six. I mean, it can't be easier than that. So what you could do is you could actually replicate that in DAX. So if we go here and say current F month two, that's our second try. So what we're going to do is we're going to do switch and true. I have a video on switch and true, which is basically a if statement where it validates um, you know, every step and doesn't check them if it's valid, okay? There's going to be a link there and a link there, so you can go and check it out. Make sure you check it out. It's a super useful function. And it's cleaner to use than if. So if, 
if, that's basically what it says, if, and then we have our current month is, what do we say? If, if it is bigger than the end of the year, so the month where the fiscal year ends, which is six, then what happens then? So it is current month minus six. Otherwise, if the current month is the opposite, at six. Okay? So it is an if statement, but the true allows you to, you know, once you have checked that, you don't go back and check it again. Super useful. Check it out. Boom, boom. Go there. Seven. So now that we have seven, guess what? Twelve. Oh, wait, not not there. <laughs> not there. We can have twelve minus, and we have five months left of the year. Yay! So this is how you do it. Okay, there's another way, and it is we already have that. If we go here, and oh, I love that we can do this nowadays, and we don't have to go to Power Query, it's fantastic. So this is the last row of the calendar. And as you can see, fiscal month is at seven. So we could grab it from there. We don't need to calculate it. We say, give me that number. So how do we do that? There we go. Go there, new measure, and we go current fiscal month, try three, boom, and now, this is what we're going to do. Calculate the um, max because you know we, we want to have the number six, and so the number six is going to come in every day, so we just want to have it once. And max is one of the options to do that. So, max uh, fiscal year, fiscal month, sorry. And then we're going to say to calculate hey, give me that number for the last date of the calendar. So we put last date, calendar date, oops, calendar date, and we cross our fingers as we always do with DAX, and boom, 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 seven. So we go there, 12 minus, Ouch, 12 minus, go, bam, five, sorry, <laughs> Swedish. So now you know. So what, what this measure does is it tells us, go to the last, last date, last date is 11th of January and grab that. Easy, right? Okay, how would you do it? Uh, there are thousands of ways to do it. I should actually do a video where I explain like at least 10 ways to do one thing. So you can see how versatile DAX is. And the difference between one measure and another is performance, basically. So now we know how many months we have left on a fiscal year. And this I made for a crazy calculation of doing something else that I, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you either next Friday or the Friday after that. I, I th I said I was going to do a cumulative uh, calculation, but I, I don't have time for that. So we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. Uh, another thing, I had a webinar on the Power BI YouTube official channel about data visualization. I will post the link down below. Um, I've received quite a good uh, critics. I thank you for that. And um, if you want to check it out, it is there. I promise that I will put the presentation material on the Power BI community blog, but I cannot access it. You know how it's changed the way you access it and the blog station link doesn't work for me. I've contacted Microsoft, I haven't seen it yet. If I haven't done it by next week, I'll put it on my blog and you can go and download it there. But hopefully it's fixed so I can put it in the blog. So have a great weekend and I'll see you again on Monday with another video. Until then, take care. Bye. So hello there. Do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that.